Jediro. Okay, here we are. Welcome to world's largest, smallest, longest lasting active YouTube channel. It's now time for a new classic game. This time the game is Anno 1602 or Anno 1602 Creation of New World or Anno. No, wait, it's just 1602 AD. And this game is released in 1998. This is the first game in the Anno series. There are actually five games currently in the series. The second game is called Anno 1503. Third is Anno 1701. Fourth is Anno 1404. And the latest game is Anno 2017. And yep, that's the uh, first and only game currently in the future. So what is this game all about? Well, you start with the boat and then you can ship to any island you want and when you reach island which you think is good you can then build a warehouse there and after that you can start building any buildings on that island and establish your um, city there or colonel, colonel there and just like any other strategy game, this game involves trading with other people and of course warp. You can build any units and uh, conquer enemy lands and so forth. And right now my first mission is to unload all my supplies from my ship to my warehouse. Uh, because yeah, when you start all your... Um, supplies are in your ship and yeah when you build your first warehouse you need to actually uh, unload the supplies to that warehouse so you can start building uh, buildings on your island And yep, of course you need to connect each uh, building with a road and of course when I have the forester there I can't really cut the woods out uh, because yeah, then there wouldn't be any uh, wood left to be cut and yeah, few few houses there like four that should be enough and yeah, I still have few tools on my ship but uh, the warehouse is currently full so yeah, I can't really unload all those but yeah it doesn't matter when the warehouse is getting depleted yeah i can simply unload more stuff from my ship and it seems there is the first trading boat coming and there is the second trading boat coming yep those are enemies trading, not mine, so yeah, I can't really do anything about those. And you can see on the map on the right top corner, there is uh, I mean the red one, then there is, uh, I think that's a grey one and the blue one as well. And yeah, you can conquer all these islands if you want, but yeah, of course, it's wise to start with the uh, only one island. Okay, I managed to unload some more stuff tools to my warehouse but yeah still there are a few tools on my boat and yeah the trading is actually done the same way that you uh, load your ship with supplies and then you send your ship to a enemy's harbor and you can then trade those supplies with uh, what the ship is carrying to the uh, other players supplies And yeah, if you think about the graphics, it's actually quite 
good considering once again this is quite old game uh, but yeah since it's like 2d uh, modeling mostly yeah that's why it looks kind of good despite the age and yeah cool animations like we see you can see on the uh, on sea there is the fisherman on his boat yeah, okay yeah it's a bit pixelized but yeah still it's totally um, understandable and you can see the animations and so forth yeah so yeah it's quite nice the game has lasted its, lasted its age and there isn't any problems with controls or whatsoever okay yeah this road is maybe not the best one because it cut quite quite a lot quite a lot of wood there when I and did it and yeah there is the wood cutter's place so yeah it's less wood for him currently and I have never played this game before uh, actually I haven't played any Anol game before so yeah when I started playing this I actually went straight to play and tried it to try to figure out how the game works but uh, yeah I just couldn't understand it I actually couldn't even build the warehouse which was the main uh, the first building which you build on the island so yeah I actually had to <laughs> go through all the tutorial uh, levels I think you can say and yeah after that I could uh, start play the game yeah yeah it's not that it the game is hard it just uh, uses a bit different uh, mechanic here uh, right now the building is yeah it, that's the normal stuff like you would imagine you build buildings uh, but yeah the first warehouse thing you actually first needed to scout the island and after that you can uh, at the warehouse was there so yeah that was the new thing which I didn't know and that's why I had to actually play the tutorials on top of the screen there is first a gold uh, amount and the 100 means how much it's going to cost to build and then there is tools I currently have 28 tools and then there is wood and then there is I think that's stone not quite sure but yeah I think that's right and yeah the number 18 means how many houses I have or citizens however you have you want to put it and yeah but, uh, number in brackets means that how many how much it's going to cost each of the uh, item as well so yeah that's that's the same thing as with the money or gold i might say and yeah there are a few different type of roads but yeah currently there is there is no point on building better roads the current one will do just fine And right now I'm currently trying to expand my borders because yeah, the um, bright area is the area where you can build and I would like to expand that and yeah I can't even connect myself to these um, local Indians or whoever they are because I have no visibility there and yeah for some reason I don't know why I can't build the building there I should have enough everything but yeah I just can't figure out why I can't build it but yeah I think I might as well try do a tr bit trading there so yeah first you need to sign a trading agreement and yeah it's really simple you just click it and it 
uh, makes the trade and then you load your ship with different supplies what you are producing on your island and like now I have uh, tools, wood, food and silk what I can trade and in this harbor there were bricks or is it stone? I don't know but yeah that's looking icon so yeah I can trade my silk to that stone so yeah that's how the thing goes of course the best thing is that you own these islands by yourself so you don't need to trade different supplies with the enemy and yeah the supplies that you can actually trade are marked with uh, bright arrows and currently I can't trade anything more here so yeah I can as well go to here to that blue one and right now I just found out that on the bottom left corner of the map there is actually a yellow player huh okay I'm gonna visit him soon enough I just first visit here and yeah as you can see I speeded up the game a bit I have been speeding up it for quite some time already yeah it's just better uh, to proceed faster in this game there is no point on watching these cool animations so yeah let's see what I can trade here I can trade that I can trade wood I can trade that and okay the wood is only thing what I can trade Really, I'm not really sh sh sure did I actually understood the trading because yeah, so far I haven't been able to purchase anything. Hmm. And yeah, the black dot on the map currently at bottom center. That's my ship. And yeah, now I'm just waiting my ship to arrive this uh, corner. And yeah, since this is in 3D game and it's only 2D, there is only 4 images of... No wait, there is more. I don't know why the ship went sideways there, but yeah. So yeah, there is actually an 8 corner animations. And I can't do anything because I have sold all my wood there. So yeah, I don't really know, did I do that right or something? Did I run out of room on my boat? I don't think so. Yeah, my citizens demand to chapel and the market. Well, let's build the market here. I should rotate it like that. And is this a good place? I think... Ah, oh, shit, it hit it. Yeah, I test figured out that all my tools are in my ship and the ship is not here yet so yeah I can't build this until my ship has arrived and that I have unloaded so yeah it's on halfway already so yeah soon enough There we go, now we have a market and then I need to be at the chapel. Not quite sure, is, are these buildings connected to the road? Let's hope they are. And I think uh, now I can, yes, no, yes, yes. I am now connected to the uh, local Indians, but I have no idea what the benefit on doing that probably nothing they still the the required chapel let's take a closer look to the chapel soon but yeah I think I need to hunt these wild animals there was something about that you shouldn't uh, build hunters uh, 
house next to your sheep farm I don't know, is it because it takes room or that the hunter actually goes and kills your sheep? I don't know, not quite sure about that And yeah, I'm just checking is there any new um, buildings available and yeah, there is, there is quite a many uh, question marks, so yeah, it means I haven't uh, um, unlocked every building yet. Like all the military buildings are currently missing. I don't know, do I need to be in war to build military buildings? Let's hope I don't. I think this is the thing what I missed on my trade routes. I need to determine the uh, supplies which I sell and which I buy. I think, or is it is this for the enemies um, trading ships which we have seen uh, visiting my harbor? So yeah, let's buy some tobacco, tobacco, and yeah, I can decide the price what I want to pay for the item. Of course, that doesn't mean I can actually get the pr item for that price, but yeah, that's what I want. To, st still, you want chapel? Yeah, I think they want food. Mm. Okay, food and chapel. I think I need to build a new chapel here. I think that should be that, that should do it. But yeah, I don't really know what I can do about the food situation because there isn't any more animals in this island. Uh, so I, I don't know, should I really build uh, new fishing boats? I think that's one option. But are there really only two possibilities to build food or get food, I mean? That you actually just fish, uh, like sheep. You eat. You can eat sheep as well, right? But yeah, I don't know. Are those sheep going to be slaughtered here or not? Probably not, since I'm making silk. And yeah, the thumbs there mean how much they like you or dislike you. And currently, all are in a neutral zone. They don't like or but they don't hate me either. Yet there are animals on top of the island, but I don't seem to be able to get there. And, well, I can try. I can send my ship there and see can I then build a new warehouse on top of the island. But yeah, there is no icon, so I could build. Let's try this way. Can I now build a warehouse? And it seems I can't. Yeah, yeah, I can't build a new warehouse up there. But I don't know. Oh, is it a duck? No, no, I can't build a duck either. Yeah. So yeah, I think I need to. Um, progress on this island by simply building roads and marketplaces so I can build further along I don't know what's the question mark on top of my forester's hut yeah it, it gives me no indication whatsoever or it gives but I, yeah, I have no idea how to actually look 
what it means. Yeah, it's probably something that he has n not enough wood or... Okay, now it's missing the question mark. Yeah, I don't really know what's the question mark all about. But yeah, let's try expanding my, our borders with... I need a bridge there. But wait... Yeah. That's what I was afraid of. It didn't build the bridge, so I can actually use the road on it, so I need to build a new bridge over here. Like that, and from here, there. So yeah, now I have expanded my borders. Yeah, it's pretty much all the island. I don't know, should I actually have one marked place on the uh, local people's area? I don't know. But yeah, at least now I can build some mines. I think that's a new building somewhere. Fire service, okay, cool. And if I build it here, it actually covers the whole area. Okay, there is the so stone manch. But yeah, it, I don't know. Should it be next to a mountain or can it be here? I think, yeah, that's not the right place to put it. But anyways, I think this should cover the Anno 1602 game and yep I hope you have enjoyed this game and yep thank you for watching goodbye Hup. 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 Hup.